When we think about space we often picture a pristine silent vacuum, but the reality is that Earth's orbit is filled with debris, pieces of old satellites, spent rocket stages and fragments from collisions. This debris poses a growing threat to everything from the International Space Station to future space missions. But how dangerous is it really, and what can we do about it? Let's explore the world of space debris. Space debris, also known as space junk, refers to the millions of pieces of human-made objects orbiting the Earth. These range from entire defunct satellites to tiny flecks of paint, all traveling at speeds of up to 28,000 kilometers per hour, or 17,500 miles per hour. Even something as small as a screw can cause catastrophic damage at these speeds. Most space debris is found in low Earth orbit, where the majority of satellites and the International Space Station operate. This clutter poses a constant risk of collision. At such high speeds, even the tiniest piece of debris can cause serious damage. In 2016, a tiny paint chip struck a window on the International Space Station, causing noticeable damage. While the astronauts were safe, it highlights how even the smallest fragments are dangerous. Collisions with larger debris can be catastrophic. For example, in 2009, an inactive Russian satellite collided with a commercial communication satellite, creating thousands of new fragments. These fragments remain in orbit, posing a threat to other satellites and space missions. One of the greatest dangers is the possibility of a Kessler syndrome scenario. This is when the amount of debris becomes so great that collisions between objects create a cascading effect where each collision generates more debris, leading to even more collisions. This could render certain orbits unusable for years or even centuries. Space agencies around the world including NASA and the European Space Agency track debris to predict potential collisions. The U.S. Space Surveillance Network tracks over 23,000 objects larger than 10 centimeters. If a collision is likely, the International Space Station and active satellites can perform evasive maneuvers to avoid impact. However, not all debris can be tracked, especially smaller objects. And as the number of satellites increases with projects like Starlink, which aims to launch thousands of satellites for global internet, space is getting even more crowded. The space debris problem is growing, but there are innovative solutions being developed. One idea is the Clean Space Initiative, which proposes capturing debris using robotic arms or nets to safely deorbit them. Laser technology is also being explored to push debris out of orbit by nudging it towards Earth's atmosphere, where it would burn up upon re-entry. Another solution is to make satellites and rockets more self-deorbiting. Future designs may include built-in systems that guide spacecraft to burn up in Earth's atmosphere once their missions are complete, ensuring they don't become part of the debris problem. As we continue to explore space, the problem of space debris will only grow unless we take action. With plans to return to the moon and eventually reach Mars, space traffic management will be critical for ensuring the safety of future missions. Managing space debris isn't just about protecting our satellites or the ISS. It's about ensuring that space remains accessible and safe for future generations of explorers. Space debris is a growing problem, but it's one we can solve with innovation, cooperation, and new technology. As humanity continues its journey into the stars, we must find ways to protect both the space environment and the missions that rely on it.